Now the next C in the three C's of strategy is communicate. Now, we mentioned earlier that Abbott Labs has a very uh, strong brand reputation, um, but a company that has been around as long as they have is bound to run into problems and run into crisis. Uh, one crisis that they've recently run into is the formula shortage. Um, and one of the long-term goals that they have from the formula shortage is to rebuild their brand rep reputation. Um, when this was going on, CEO Robert Forbes issued a public apology, ensuring customers that they should feel safe buying Abbott products currently on their shelves. Um, one tactic that they use to kind of uh, supplement the lack of formula within the United States was they shipped powdered infant formula from their FDA-approved facility in Ireland to the United States. Robert Ford said that he wants everyone to trust to do trust them to do what is right and they know that that, mu that trust must be earned back. Another long-term goal that Abbott has uh, that they've communicated is developing and diversifying their forward-thinking products. Um, one of the most recent developments that they've had is um, reimbursement coverage. They've increased reimbursement coverage for their diabetes product, Freestyle Libra, uh, namely in Japan. That they've had the most uh, reimbursement coverage. They've also developed the Abbott Pandemic Defense Coalition. This is an industry-led, first-ever uh, defense coalition against uh, to protect against future pandemic threats. Um, and so what happens is Abbott Labs tests strains of diseases uh, to see if they can prevent future pandemic threats and, and stay ahead of that. Um, this helps them to maintain a competitive advantage as a medical leader at the forefront of future pandemics. And they are also one of the first medical companies to develop, to develop rapid at-home COVID tests.